Hi guys, as we know, ESP boards are very popular and the reason is that they are quite action packed microcontroller boards compared to others available in the market. And one of them is ESP32. It has many things but today we will discuss its one important feature and which is the inbuilt hall sensor. So without wasting any further time, let's do this. So here we have our ESP32 board and mine is LOLIN32 board. And before we go into all this stuff, please make sure you have installed ESP32 boards in your Arduino IDE. And if not, watch my video given in the card section to install ESP32 boards in your PC. And if you don't have ESP32 board, then I will leave a affiliate buying link in description for you. So please help yourself with that. So before we go into the code and all. Let me tell you what a hall sensor is. So in short, a hall sensor senses the magnetic field which means it can tell you how strong or weak magnetic field is near to the sensor. So open the Arduino IDE and in board section select your ESP32 boards and then go to examples then go to ESP32 and in that select hall sensor sketch. Then in the sketch you can see there is only one important line of code and it is hall read and which is just similar to analog read function. So this code will print values in CL monitor and to print values slowly I will put a delay here. Then check your board and select your COM port and hit upload and wait for few seconds for code to get uploaded. So after uploading the code then open the COM port at baud rate 9600 and you can see some values around 10 to 15 but fluctuating around this range. So. Take any magnet, if you have neodymium magnet then the result will be much better than mine. But I don't have it so I will use my small speaker magnet. So when I will put this magnet near to its sensor, you can see the values are jumping somewhere near 20 to 30. In case of neodymium magnet, I guess the values will jump more. So I will remove that magnet for now and you can see the values are settling back to its own previous figures. And even these values could go down as well. So for that demonstration, I will use my wireless earbuds which are magnetic to show you. So when I take my earbuds near to the sensor, you can see the values are going down. And now let's remove it to see if the values are settling back. And you can see the values are settling back to previous figures. So guys, that's all for the today. I will see you guys in another video of mine. And we will discuss more about the ESP32. Till then like share and subscribe and if this video helped you buy me a coffee my paper link is in description and I will see you guys next time.